All right, so we gotta talk. In this video, we're gonna answer the question, can anyone become rich without startup capital, connections, or luck? One of the most cringiest things I've ever experienced and continue to experience is to talk with people who believe that being successful requires crazy connections or being incredibly lucky. It drives me crazy because there are ongoing routines and activities that successful people do or have done that struggling people do not do. And making connections with investors, for example, usually happens after you've already proven yourself. No one is just gonna throw money at you for no reason. So I hope you get a ton of value out of this video as I'm gonna attempt to give you the proper mindset to be independently wealthy. So first, put the necessary blinders on to get rid of the voices in your head that say you can't do something because you don't have this or that, or because you don't have a list, or because your location is inadequate, or whatever. Whatever your mindset has been prior to watching this video, I'm sure that you'll agree with most of what I say, and if not, you'll definitely agree with at least some of what I say, if that makes sense. I have a ton of respect for people who are proud of what they do no matter what it is. Our armed service members, firefighters, or factory workers, for example, are carrying out very important work, obviously. But if you are unhappy with what you do and you don't think that you can achieve anything better, then I'm hoping I can help out a bit and give you some real strategies to help your mindset. So so if you've got a friend that needs help in this area, for instance, you could share this with them and it'll probably help. So before I prove that you can get rich, even if you are not lucky at all or don't have connections, right off the bat, know that there is a good reason for this video. There's no reason why after 10 years of doing something that you don't like, you can't change things up. You may have provided incredible value to your nine to five, and that's awesome, but now you wanna utilize your leadership skills, build your own company, and produce something that will better mankind. So a little bit about why you should listen to me. Well, I myself dropped out of high school in the ninth grade, so I didn't take the SATs or pursue college. I did get my high school diploma though, but it was through homeschooling. It was a pretty boring story. I did study the drums for a year. Fast forward a bit, did I become a famous drummer who is making all of my money working in the music scene? No. For six years, I had been working in music stores, doing telemarketing stuff on commission, playing in bands, recording rappers, and other musical groups in my home studio. And then I decided to create a website to sell my hip hop beats. You should realize at this point, I have no connections. My location had nothing to do with my success, and this is why. I was actually in New York City, which is a great location, right? But it was insanely competitive. I had the chance to meet famous people, but they did nothing for me, and they didn't want to have anything to do with me. In fact, in this music store where I was working, I was selling some prominent musicians and celebrities their drum machines and gear, and for me to realize that this wasn't going to go anywhere it didn't take a rocket scientist. So back then, there was no YouTube. I couldn't just look up instructional website creation videos or anything like that. But I did have a friend who could teach me. So I went over to his house with a pad and a pen and he showed me how to use Adobe Go Live. It was only one session. I'll take a lie detector test, I promise. It wasn't like creating a web page was really hard to do. So I went home, built this website, and then I did some research on Google about where I could process payments. And then I found out about ClickBank and PayPal. I decided to sell my catalog of music that I had produced for 30 bucks, non-exclusively, copies of it. I kept on researching how to advertise it and I read some training books that looked pretty scammy to be honest with you, work from home, stuff like that. Those books taught me about affiliate marketing. I didn't continue buying those types of books, but it opened my eyes to what is going on. So long story short, I figured out how to use Google Ads, finally started to get some sales, but I also put the business on ClickBank and acquired affiliates who would drive traffic for me in exchange for some of the profits. It's all done automatically on ClickBank, it's very easy. And so I started seeing more and more sales every day. In fact, this business model was basically a standalone company that would generate 200 to 300 bucks a day in passive income for me with very little maintenance. Of course, I did the math and figured it would be great if I had 10, 20 or even 50 of these websites. I could maintain all of them easily and they would bring in major passive income. So that's exactly what I did. I had the intuition that I didn't ever wanna create something that would compete with a website I already made. So with every new creation, I made sure it was based on a slightly different idea. So after two to three years of doing this, all kinds of business models were opening up to me as well. Learned how to sell websites and stuff like that, right? Now, I've sold businesses for crazy lump sums 
used YouTube for content creation for affiliate marketing, got paid from Google AdSense for blogs I've published and so on. But meeting other entrepreneurs like myself in the forums or whatnot and walking into rooms with only the top performers on different platforms has shown me that we all have multiple things in common. Creative minds, a strong belief in oneself, a natural leadership ability, and being able to enjoy solitude in the process of creating, producing, or developing. Your business model, systems, and drive needs to employ an individual mindset, divorced from outside society and its collective ideals. You need the ability to stay home on Halloween when all your friends are going out to some Halloween party. You know that even if they're gonna give you a guilt trip, that after a few years, you've created something massive, and then you can invite those same friends over for a party at your mansion. If you did go out when they pressured you, your productivity and your drive could go out the window after a night of drinking. The marathon of writing that you were doing could be deflated. You need to enjoy the high of forcing yourself to stay in a productive mindset for a long time. If you don't, the consequence of abandoning those five hours of work could cost you huge. All successful people seem to have this trait or this ability to use both the right and the left sides of their brain in a healthy fusion. Having a good grasp over both of the creative and analytical sides of their brain. Even for people who have already made it, they can get sick, divorced, go through hard times and lose all of the money that they've made, but they just go through the steps again and get back on top over and over again. You can tell yourself till you're blue in the face that I am successful only because I have a list or I've got a YouTube channel, but how did I build that list? How did I build that channel and do so well without any email marketing whatsoever? How did I do so well in the first five years before YouTube even existed? Sure, plenty of rich people inherited everything from their parents, but we aren't all like that. If you're watching this video, that's probably not you. So you've got to be self-made. You've got to be creative and adopt an individual way of thinking. Maybe you have an idea for a game app, so you could invest the money that you make with your day job back into hiring someone with coding skills to make your app a reality. That might only be 500 bucks, and who knows what kinds of connections that might bring to. So because I personally lived through it and saw the results of something I've created, I just don't agree with someone who makes excuses. I'm not super special. It's not how intelligent you are that determines if you'll be successful. It's your day in and day out behaviors and activities and your discipline that make the difference. Many people I meet are incredible problem solvers, mechanics or even modified race car engineers, right? Are problem solvers. They invent solutions to fix problems with vehicles. In the case of someone who's been undereducated, that can still be remedied at any age. If you're not in a country that limits your access to the internet or restricts you from running your own business, then you really don't have any excuses. I know people who have terminal diseases that still focus, build skill over the long term because of an addiction to the high or euphoria that pushing yourself in this way creates. Yes, I'm incredibly successful now, but I have had incredible distractions. I've raised four children gone through a brutal financially contested divorce, but I'm still here because that's where my priority is. If it were up to me, I'd add creative problem solving courses in schools from the very beginning. But anyway, whenever you see someone on YouTube talking about succeeding by creating your own business, and you immediately think that there's some kind of catch or dishonesty, maybe now you'll be able to tune those thoughts out. It's an easier life down the road if you run your own business and become a passive income entrepreneur for sure. So thank you very much for watching and make sure to subscribe. This is Jamie Lewis, and hopefully this has helped you to better yourself and kick some ass. Now, if you want any more information, make sure to sign up at onlinegoldmine.com for awesome free information, and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.